Howdy my people, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So this one today is actually coming from our dear beloved state, Abia State and um, Alex Oti particularly. Yeah, this particular one is, is just a brief update of what is actually going on in the state. You know, first of all, what he did was when Alex Oti took over government, he actually brought all accounts to be in one account it's, there is no more separate account so anything that has to do with government funding you all pay into one account that's like to him he said that's the first way of cutting off corrupt practices in the state you know he says the area where he does not tolerate um uh, people getting fake certificates for different projects in the state and claiming they are approved directly from the government. Now, in this one, Abia government to prosecute owners of illegal buildings. Now, he has set up a committee that if they find out that your building was not properly registered and was not approved properly before it was built, it will be demolished in Abia state. So, if you know you have a house in Abia state that is wasn't properly um, the supposed document you're supposed to get before building that structure especially on public places when you did not get it so please better go find out what you're supposed to do the necessary things you're supposed to do do them so that you avoid the rot of uh, our new governor and our able governor who is working really tirelessly to ensure that a new abia has a better face for all of us you know i really i'm really happy for alex oti and the good people of abia because i look forward to see a very prosperous state as one of the oldest states in the eastern part of nigeria abia state is one of the oldest states they've done so little well let me read this straight from um premium times here for you guys so you could easily um, get what we are actually saying concerning these particular issues you know because uh alex Uti is someone who really has the people at heart and after that we'll be sharing another article here i'll be giving you the list of the new approved appointees the list of all the appointees he has brought into his government some of the public um, celebrities you know who are from Abia State are actually in this list, guys. So stay put as we get right into that. Now, it started with the area of under the table deals where people collect bribes to give government, to give approval indiscriminately is gone. The Abia State government says it will prosecute owners of building erected with fraudulently obtained approval in the state. The Commissioner for Information and Culture in the state in the state, OK Kano made this known on Monday while addressing reports on the outcome of the state executive council meeting in Omaya. Mr. Kano said the state government has an extant law on the erection of buildings in the state which has been in existence since 1971. So it's not just um, a law that he is starting now. It has been there since 1971, but had been poorly implemented by past administration. Many people have breached this law. Going forward, the government has decided that every building in the state must be duly approved before erection. The era of under the table deals where people collect bribes to give approvals indiscriminately is gone. Government will not hesitate to demolish any building that does not meet the approved standard and prosecute those involved in breaching the process, he said. The commissioner said that illegally elected structures deface the environment and could cause environmental hazards such as flooding. And we know Abia State is one of the most flooded states, like places like Aba, places like Umaya where you see massive flooding everywhere. And yeah, I guess this is another means that we really cut this off. On education, Mr. Kano said that plans were underway to begin renovating one school in each of the 17 local government area of the state. He said providing a conducive learning environment was part of the government strategy to improve the state education standard. There are plans to capture more schools in the renovation exercise ongoing forward, the commissioner said. He further said that Governor Alex Soti has approved the appointment of DK Wankwo as the Director General of Abia 
orientation agency to build the confidence of the people of Abia in the government through public enlightenment campaign. Now, this one is coming from Canon Wonko appointment. Like I said, I was going to make, uh, I'm going to, still going to, in this video, just stay put because I'm going to give you the list and some of the top people you know in Abia State are part of this list. But this is coming from Canon Wonko appointment. The commissioner who said, also said that the governor has appointed football legend Canon Wonko as super supervisor for AIMBA Football Club. Canon Wonko will be providing technical knowledge to encourage the club to win more laurels he said on salary payment he said that community has directed the immediate payment of the salaries areas for april for verified abia workers and payment for the june pension for retired by next week now for those of you who i posted a video here about him clearing um, salaries in the in the past 30 days in office and some people were like mm, is it like some people haven't seen their salary that the news was fake and all of that now if you're, if you're very certain that this person who is working under the government is not a ghost worker, he will get paid because they will need to verify that truly he's not a ghost worker. The, the reason for this is to flush out the system where people who their brother is in government will just pass them in and they will become a worker without following the due process of the state. Uh, truly. Now, the executive council urged the authorities in the local government areas, commission, the judiciary, service commission to cooperate with the verification committee to ensure a speedy conclusion of the exercise as soon as the verification exercise is completed at the local government state local government at the local government and the state level salaries of all workers will be paid on the same day mr kano said now concerning that building of illegal structure this is my take on that issue you know if lego state is actually putting eye into this what Alex Oti is doing now, it is almost every year you hear that one big building or the other collapses. Now, we know that it is lawful that before you, you build a structure that is above um, a certain standard, you need to seek government approval, right? And before you seek government approval, they must give you some policies to follow so that you know what you're actually doing. But some people don't actually follow these policies. They just go ahead to build what they want to build. And that is what Alex Oti is trying to really avoid in this context here and, you know, save the good people of Abia that shame. Now, this one is coming from um, uh, the people of Abia. It's actually an online platform. It said the list of the people that are actually working with... Um, let me just read the subheading. Governor Alex Oti appoints J. Martins. We all know J. Martins. The, uh, I know one this you're touching, but the Kruna, yes. And 29 others as new aides. Now, the list is here, and it's very, very long. We have Mr. Ogochuku Okura for Special Advisor Monitoring and Evaluation. Honorable Ihe Nacho Obioma, Special Advisor Political Affairs. Professor Ijoma Ihe Kuru, Senior Advisors, Special Assistant Environment is so much. You know, over 20, 30 people are appointed. And Jay Martins is part of that list. Um, Kano Wonko, too, is part of that list. Kano Wonko is the chairman of Ehimba International Football Club, ABBA, and the rest of others. The list is just too much here to start mentioning all of them. But I feel this guy bringing in youthful people to participate in his government is one of the most brilliant ideas he has ever done so far. Well, thank you guys for watching. Do you really guys really think that this idea that he has actually bring like implementing um, permission and running a, a central account where all funds are remitted into that account, first of all. Then secondly, uh, given that he is also making, making sure that the, there is no illegal structures and demolition of those illegal structures. I feel that what illegal structure means, structure that proper uh, uh, approval was not gotten from the government so if you own a structure in the city of abia state it is duly right that you go get your house properly approved before it falls under the demolition policy this is more of like a warning to house owners that okay maybe you know that you have a friend in the government that passed something to something somebody to somebody and they get you those papers but you in your heart you are not sure that 
those papers are directly from the government go and verify that issue so that you don't have any issues with the government and them coming to the, uh, demolish your house thank you guys for watching this video i just decided to give you guys this update let me know what you think in the comment section let's get to hear your thoughts do you really think this is a good move for the good people of abia state or it is another show of of power as so many of you always say mm, some of these things is just show up of power and trying to intimidate people let me know that in the comment section see you guys on my next video guys